Oh my God, I have a horoscope. Oh my God, no, 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 horoscope. <laughs> oh my God, sir, what should I do? I feel like dying. I have a horoscope. I do not have a horoscope. Everybody else has a horoscope, but I have a horoscope. My horoscope is so horrible. It looks like as if it's like a horror. <laughs> so scope of the horror, all right? So many times people tell me that the horoscope is the most disgusting. It's the most pathetic, the most weak, the worst of all horoscopes that they've seen. Their father's horoscope is better than theirs. Their mother's is better. Husband is better. Wife is better. Brother, sister, cousin, uncle, aunt. Everybody has the most amazing horoscope in the entire universe. And yet I end up having a horoscope. All right. So what should you do when you have a quote-unquote uh, horoscope? Okay. So <clears throat> the first thing is you should uh, make sure that you have a horoscope, okay? Not horoscope, horoscope. Because many times what happens, uh, people will see some basic astrology videos and then they will decide that they, their horoscope is terrible. Like uh, some of the most frequently asked questions which I get from YouTube astrology is, my Venus is debilitated, should I get married? Because my married life is ruined, okay? My seventh lord is in debility. Rahu is in my seventh. Saturn is in my seventh. Ketu is in my seventh. My Namamsa is terrible. Venus is debilitated in my Namamsa. All right. So all these fancy questions. Okay. This happens because you are seeing individual videos in YouTube and you are not learning systematically. Because long back, or not long back, recently, uh, sometime back, I had made a video. Uh, can a good Venus... Uh, prevent uh, nullify a bad seventh house okay so in that i had explained uh, systematically when uh, what does venus do what the seventh house do all right so just and then you you never look at the shas i have seen people don't look at the shas they will just look at the individual placements what about the shas okay but nobody is interested in the shas then they will read uh, see transits and then they will complain that astrology doesn't work all right so first of all before you uh, get into these uh, fancy conclusions that uh, i have a horoscope what should i do you should first ask yourself are you 100 percent sure that you have a horoscope okay now let us assume you uh, have done all the analysis, you have talked to your astrological mentor or some uh, knowledgeable person within astrology and that person has given you a certificate. Yes, my dear sir, madam, your horoscope is the worst horoscope in the entire world, okay? Uh, that they have not seen any more, any horoscope which is worse than yours, okay? So then what should you do? Let's assume the person says like this, okay? Because all the time I keep getting these comments. Sir, my Saturn, Venus, Mars are conjunct in the eighth house and Saturn is my seventh lord also. So my marriage is doomed. I am frustrated. I feel like dying. I feel like committing suicide. I don't want to live. I'm not getting married or I'm married, but my married life is miserable. What should I do? Okay. So... Therefore, uh, suppose, let's assume this is true. You have a horoscope, okay? Yours is the worst horoscope in this entire world. Then what should you do? Well, uh, first, uh, you should understand that what is the purpose of astrology? The purpose of astrology is not to uh, make you free from your destiny. Should I repeat? The purpose of astrology is not to give you freedom from your destiny. No, it doesn't do that. Nothing can change your destiny. Okay, so this is something which you should understand. Now, I will tell you, this lesson will empower you very much. I will tell you, you may be thinking, oh, this is a very pessimistic attitude. Although already my horoscope is bad or I think it is bad. And it's terrible, it's horrible, it's the worst. And then now you are telling, I can't do anything. What the hell? I won't listen to you. Go to hell. <laughs> All right, so the thing is, you have to understand the horoscope doesn't do anything. The horoscope doesn't say anything. It doesn't speak. It just reflects yourself. Okay, so let's assume you claim to have a very bad horoscope or terrible placements. You have to understand 
it is you who is responsible and that's the bad part and the good part is it is you who is responsible why why this is also the good part because what you do now will decide your future destiny nobody else is responsible for this it is you and me who we we are ourselves responsible for that also which we have so therefore the best part about the horoscope is you can decide in your future lifetime where your planets will sit how, how, how in the universe can you decide yes your actions your reactions to your predestined karma which is quote and quote free will your reactions will decide your future destiny so suppose you are at the age of 50 and you had terrible things in your life okay and you claim to have a terrible horoscope then do you want to have this same horoscope in your next life ask this question to yourself imagine another 50 years of some random life again going like this can you digest it how do you feel i know people who have been uh, they've had such a severe trauma in their life that they, they, they every morning from the last 5 to 10 years when they get up they cry can you believe it they're living in hell actually they're not they're, they're not living in guloka they're living in hell actually so do you want that same things happen to you in some other lifetime no i'm very sure you don't want that i don't want you don't want nobody wants all right so therefore whatever you have done that you cannot change no amount of mantras sutras yantras mudras tantras gemstones or whatever it is pujas cannot change that okay because this is very crucial you should understand because recently one uh, person he sent me a mail he said sir i'm uh, chanting vishnu sastanam from last six months i don't see any results i said uh, what kind of results were you expecting and then this person told me that uh, he was expecting his you know career will improve or his married life will improve nothing of this sort happened so this is criminal this is criminal this is criminal doing spiritual activities for materialistic elevation okay this is this is not good this what happens when you do all this you will get more frustrated and then you will kick out these spiritual practices kick out you will kick out vishnu sasram you will kick out mantras you will kick out everything actually and then you will become thousand times more materialistic than you were before because now you are also frustrated than before see before what happened you were materialistic then you got some lessons you got some suffering but then you were like not indulging very much in materialistic activities sinful activities i would say but now you thought that oh i will do these remedies and magically things will change okay or it can include mundane remedies also like chanting some fancy graha mantras okay chanting Venus mantra Om Himakundam Nena Labham Daityanam Paramam Guru Sarva Shastra Pravaktaram Bhargavam Pranamam. You can chant this mantra, and some people think that if marriage is not there, then they will get married. Yeah, there are people who think like this. Okay. So either you do remedies like Vishnu Sastra Nam or you know, uh, Narayan Kavach, or you wear gemstones, or you do Graha mantras, whatever you do. If you do it with a wrong intention, with a lack of proper knowledge, you will be even more frustrated. Okay. So when you have a horoscope, the first thing you should do is not do remedies with without the right understanding. Okay. So the moment you can do hundreds of thousands of remedies. I'm not against them, but what I'm saying is the remedies uh, will not change your destiny. Okay. That is why it's called destiny. Destiny means that which is destined. So if it was changeable, then it won't be destiny. That's contradictory. Right? So then you would ask me, so then uh, why should we do remedies? Okay. Well, you should do remedies because of two reasons. First, when you pray to that devota, that devota will give you the, give you the lesson. You will get that realization from within. Why am I suffering? Suppose you are suffering in relationships. 80 to 90% of the people 
astrology because of relationship troubles all right very clear with that you don't like to listen i know that <laughs> 20 to 30 percent of the people carrier issues okay suppose you have suffered in relationships what kind of sufferings you have got suppose you loved somebody who didn't love you back okay so one-sided love basically people tell me that oh i love this boy or this girl that person doesn't love me back can you give me some vashikaran mantra by which i can just make that person go crazy after me yeah there are people who do all this you know some clean mantra which is very famous in youtube i've heard <laughs> So there's a, I, I heard somebody told me there's some mantra in YouTube. I don't know, maybe you can search, you know, clean mantra, clean, it's mantra for Kama Dev. Okay. So what does, what that mantra claims, uh, I, I don't know, I've just heard maybe, and it's not, not surprising that these uh, stupidity is going on in YouTube and it's also there in Kali Yuga. Uh, so this clean mantra claims uh, to give you uh, the best sex life okay so better than anybody else it pr uh, promises you heavenly pleasure basically okay and it also promises that your ex will come back okay and another thing it promises i heard that whoever you love if that person doesn't love you that person will start loving you back wow royal crap <laughs> If this if these things would work, then uh, Maharishi Parashar would just write, you know, oh, seventh house problems, just chant clean, clean, own clean, Kama Deva, and some, some idiotic, stupid mantra like this, he would have written and uh, told, uh, given it, okay? And this is a fake mantra, this I just told just to, uh, so there's no mantra like this, okay? So, but I know there are many people, after hearing this mantra, they will chant this also, even though this is a fake mantra, because... They are so much obsessed with sex and opposite sex that they cannot they cannot handle the fact that uh, life can also be good without the opposite sex because they are not happy within themselves. Okay, so therefore this is the first thing you should do. Okay, and what is the next thing you should do is and yeah sorry I forgot to say so uh, the remedy should be done number one so that you you learn the lesson. So if if you gave suffering to somebody then that is why that person is giving you suffering. Okay, so. Unless you learn that lesson, see, the nature doesn't want to punish you. God doesn't like to punish. The nature doesn't like to punish. Because that's why we say mother nature. Do you think a mother will like to punish the child? No, the mother doesn't like. God is the father. Father. Do you think a father likes to punish his child? No, never. But the problem is, we have committed so many sins, we have done so many wrong activities that if we do not get punished, it's like that a uh, child who is so naughty who doesn't study okay and then the father has to beat the mother has to not beat or at least show the stick okay or at least scold the child otherwise the child won't listen okay so therefore you have to understand this that uh, that's the first reason you should do remedy the second reason is you will be better equipped to deal with the karma, the inevitable destiny. Okay, so when you do Vishnu Sastanam or you chant Vishnu Mantras, especially, you read Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, you become a vegetarian. So that will make your mind more peaceful. Okay, and then suppose you get a news that you, you have lost your job. So then you will be like, okay, I've lost my job. It's difficult. I will now try to find another job. But suppose you are in Rajas all the time. Oh my God, I will lose my job. Or what will happen? This will happen. That will happen. How will I pay rent? How will I eat? How will I do this? How will I do that? Oh my God. So then the problems will appear as if it is 10 times bigger. Okay. A sattvic person will see, okay, this is the problem. This is where I am. I need to solve it. He, will, he or she will try, try his best. But a person in Rajas will end up doing so many things and not achieving the solution. Because the person... Uh, has too many ideas and too many things which he wants to do, but he's confused which one to do. Okay, so don't be nervous. So when you are in Satoguna, then you will be able to solve the issues better. Okay, so then this is the first thing you should do. You should do remedy for these two reasons only. Okay, and not to change your destiny. You cannot change your destiny. It's not possible. Then the second thing you should understand is that you have to take responsibility for your own actions. Okay. Which means you you have to understand that <clears throat> it was I only who did something. So therefore, 
I cannot blame anybody else. I cannot blame the planets. I cannot blame uh, destiny. People say, hey, Vidhata ne kaisa kundli diya hai mujhe. Okay. So, no fancy God has given you this horoscope. It is just a reflection of your own activities. All right. So, therefore, take responsibility for your actions. Just because, uh, as they say, na, make the best use of a bad bargain. So when you do these spiritual activities, then what happens? Your Sattva Guna will increase. And then, uh, suppose in your destiny there are difficulties, then you, 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 you will use your free will properly. Okay. So use your free will properly. So this means that even though bad things are there, but you don't blast on them again. Okay. Which means, suppose a person got angry and spoke very badly to you. Now, does it mean you also blast back? No, that's stupidity because when you do that, then that person will again blast on you. Then again you will blast. Okay. Now, that doesn't mean you just keep mom and just do nothing. I'm not saying that. You take the necessary action which is required. But what I'm saying is, if somebody gets angry on you, you also get angry on that person. So, that doesn't solve the problem. I'm just giving an example. All right. But uh, if suppose that person is abusing you or uh, harming you physically or is uh, speaking very badly, then maybe you have to distance yourself or maybe in worst case, call the police or something like that. That's different. So do what is required. But try to understand that um, take responsibility for your own actions. Okay. And use your free time properly because free time, uh, free time means uh, when you are like not doing anything productive. Okay. So during that time, uh, you should cultivate uh, more, uh, cultivate yourself spiritually more, okay? Because then uh, the upcoming uh, destiny which you have that you can deal more in a in much better ways actually, okay? And whichever person, whichever house, whichever area, whichever planet is giving you trouble, all right? Always check those karakas within your life so suppose you always have problems with government figures okay authority figures then look at sun not in your horoscope forget your horoscope look at sun who is your father all right so then go and try to improve your relationship with your father or if you have a problem with your father go and try to give more respect to your authorities to your seniors to your elders Right, so suppose you have a problem in your marriage. Hmm? Suppose you are a man and your relationship with your wife is not good, then you should try to uh, respect other ladies. Right, don't uh, don't see them with an abusive uh, eye. Don't try to exploit them. If you do that, then your married life will also be ruined. Okay. Similarly, if you are a lady and if you don't have a good relationship. Then don't go on, go around blasting all men, saying that all men are pigs. All right. If you keep saying like this, then your relationship with your husband will also deteriorate. Okay. And why I'm saying this, I know many ladies who keep doing all this. All right. And their relationship with their husband is sinking to the garbage can. Okay. It's they're going to be out of the relationship very soon. So whichever gender you are. Appreciate people from the other gender. Respect them. Be kind to them. Be courteous to them. All right. Don't don't torture them. Basically, okay. By by any means, okay. Or suppose you have a problem with your mother, then it's the moon. Or if you have problems with your mind, mentally you are down. You are negative always. Then try to improve your relationship with the mother. All right. Because moon is the mind. It's the emotions. It's the mother. So. These are just examples which I am giving you. <clears throat> okay, so suppose now moon is the lord of your fifth house. This can mean your first child also. All right. So when you do all this, then you can understand that now gradually I am taking steps to not have a horror scope in my next life. All right. So for this life, you do the do spiritual practices properly, and for your next life, you prepare that this life I will do good karmas by which my next life will not go like a horror all right so that is all you can do and this is what you need to do at least okay and if you do everything else but you don't do spiritual practices and you don't take responsibility for your own actions it will not work okay it has not worked because 
then horoscopes would not exist then this people this person would have not uh, told me that he has a horoscope okay so there you go thank you very much for your patience and uh, if you want a consultation from me regarding your horoscope <laughs> you can go down to the description section of my uh, videos where you will find the link to my website and yes if you are new then please subscribe to it and this channel and like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who also claims to have a horoscope okay or who you think has a horoscope <laughs> all right nobody should think like this but sometimes we know that people have difficult lives so then if you want to help then you can send this video to them okay as their well wishes and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him thank you very much